everyone, Alexandra here again, and today we are looking over Demio. Demio is another tool you can use to create your webinars, like we recently reviewed Livestorm, but Demio does not have a free version. However, you can use it for maybe one or two webinars as it has during the 14 days of trial. Now, right from the start, when you join the tool, you will have your main dashboard that's divided into your schedule and your events. And on your schedule, you will see everything you have scheduled so far, including this event here, which is handy because it's really a simulator for what the webinar experience with demo looks like. So you get to join just like your attendees would. And you get to experience what that mail looks like. And it's good because you also get to find out a couple more extra things about Demio. To actually create your first event, you're going to head over to Events and click on Add New Event. Here you have three options right off the bat. The standard option, which lets you allow people to choose an individual live or scheduled session upon registration or you can go for the series option, which is handy if you want to start collecting emails and then host webinars with the same people for a series of events. So for example, you might be hosting a daily chat series with a different guest every single day for a week and you want to gather people's emails at the start, you will then opt for a series option or you have the automated version if you want to use pre-recorded videos or on-demand ones. We are actually going to opt for this for now. And let's say we want to create an on-demand webinar. So one that people can access at all times. And you will want something evergreen, kind of like content marketing tips, for 2023, let's say. So you can send this maybe at the end of the year and then keep it running for maybe two or three months well into the new year. Click on continue. And now that the event has been created, we need to schedule it. And we can either go to schedule this event or to on demand. And I'm going to turn this on from here. So now anyone with the link, so anyone with this link can enter and see the webinar whenever they want to. But we are also going to have to customize it. And here you have all of your customization options. And we are going to start with the registration page. And this is super simple to use because compared to some of the other tools out there, you have quite a few options for editing this, adding your own branding and some elements. So for example, you can decide if you want a sub headline and then enter it here, maybe add a video and maybe some description for the event. So tell people what this event is about, what the benefits of joining in are, something about the speakers, anything that will get people to participate. And you also have the option to feature your presenters. I recommend always having this on. With on-demand webinars, it's not really a must, but you would also want to still say something about the presenter. So, you know, you can talk about their role, where they work, their experience, add a photo, and you can add as many presenters as you want or just leave it like so. And you have the social sharing options as well. And this is where you decide what people will see once you actually share this webinar link. So I always recommend adding a custom social image and, you know, some text and description for this. And basically, this is kind of what people will see on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever you want to share this with your future attendees. Click on save and close. You can also, and this is just super cute, choose a custom thank you page and then you are going to lead them to a separate landing page now you do not create this in demio but with other tools maybe you just want to link to a page on your website that says thank you for registering and giving people maybe some extra resources also on the registration page you have the option to edit your form fields so you can decide what is required 
add in some GDPR consent, add in, you know, extra fields that are available in here, or you can just create a custom field if you want to collect, for example, something that's not in here, like a role or anything like that. And you also have some extra settings for limiting how many upcoming sessions are visible on the registration form and also adding maybe a registration limit. This is super handy if you want to keep your event smaller because otherwise you risk having maybe way too many people like 100 or 200. But this is really a option for when you want to host live events. Always click on done. And then we are heading to our next settings, and that is the email notifications. Now here you just have your classic options, and you know you get to decide if you want to send a reminder for the event 15 minutes before or not, if you need the instant confirmation. Ideally, you want to leave all of these on just to make sure that as many people attend as possible, and you have the option to edit, basically to customize the email they receive, as a notification. Again, always click on done. Then you have the room settings so that you actually get to prepare the room before the meeting. And this is where you can get your resources posted. And that can be anything from a poll, a handout, or a featured action, which you know can be anything from downloading something to accessing an offer or a page. And you also have your settings. And here you get to decide who has the right to basically see and manage and send messages. Most of the time you will want to keep the public chat open so that everyone can have a say in this, but you can also limit the chat so that only admins can see and send messages. And you also have a post session redirect option in here. So as soon as the on-demand webinar ends, you can redirect them to a page to make sure that you capture those leads further. And maybe you can take them to a resource, an ebook, another video, an offer, your pricing page, even whatever you want to. And then you have your event admin options in here. And basically, you will usually have your team members and you know their role, which is basically the moderator. But you can also have, you know, extra guests. And for every event you create, you want to add it this. Click on done. Then you have your general settings, which are the event time zone and language. And some automation options in here. You need to use this if you have maybe a pre-recorded webinar or any type of event really. And you want to make sure that a video plays at the right time, even when you're not actually participating yourself in the webinar. And, you know, to help you with extra tasks, there's always some extra integrations you can get from the settings section. There is not that many yet, but these are, you know, what you will need most of the time. So now that we have customized our event, we are ready to share it. There's no option to customize your URL, but you can also just embed this instead to make it, you know, visually appealing. So for example, you can have this in a pop-up or just as inline embeds. When the registration page essentially is live, you will get to see your activity in here, which really shows you how many people have registered and then how many people have attended. And you will actually see everyone who is taking part in the webinar here, including the on-demand webinar. And this is it on the demo side. This is just all simple to use. There aren't that many super advanced features, but you know, it's just a webinar tool so you decide how you want to use it. The premium feature for this will give you some extra handy features like you know custom domains for these registration pages and also the automated events so the one where you need to add you know maybe a video to play on top of your actual webinar that's a feature that's just available under the growth plan so you do need to kind of check the pricing for this to actually see which option works best for you. 
Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment with maybe a video you would like to see in the future. And I will see you next time.